everybody, thanks for tuning in to Debt Bites, our YouTube channel. Today, I have a special guest with me, Jeremy Golden from Golden Cardona. It's a law firm in California that specializes in consumer protection laws. They only work with consumers. They don't represent businesses, banks, anything. And they're there for the little guy. And from my experience, I think I've been referring people to Jeremy. I think I've been referring people to you for over a decade. So, Jeremy, your firm's awesome. You guys focus on a lot of things that most attorneys stay away from. There's not very many, you know, for example, there's not very many FDCPA experienced attorneys or debt collection defense attorneys around the country. Um, and you're my go-to resource in California. If you wouldn't mind, share with our viewers what your firm mainly looks at when it's consumer protection oriented. Yeah, you bet. Thanks, Mike. Um, you know, we handle uh, consumer law and it kind of covers a lot of different areas. We're always representing an individual, a family, and on the other side can be debt collector, bank, mortgage servicer, credit reporting company. And a lot of the cases we are getting um, recently, people being sued on old accounts, credit card accounts, maybe an account that's been bought and sold to a debt buyer. So we represent people in court, in litigation when it gets to that point. Um, a lot of people come to us, they already have a judgment against them. Maybe it was a, a lawsuit they didn't even know about. And the first time they find out about it, there's a wage garnishment. Maybe they go to check their bank and the bank levies cleaned out their account for an old credit card debt that they never got served on, never knew anything about. So those are the types of cases we handle. We also um, assist people with credit reporting problems. So we have a, a number of people come to us. Maybe it's an account they paid off an account that was discharged in bankruptcy, something like that, and the and the um, creditor is still reporting um, incorrect information. So we can help them dispute it, we can help them try to get it off, and if none of that works, we can uh, always file a lawsuit um, on behalf of our client, take them to court. So some of the things um, that, you know, I know I've what I've referred people to you for, you know, our website and this YouTube channel, people are able to call in for free and, you know, get a little bit of uh, guidance and some of that guidance refers them to attorneys, somebody like you. And in my experience, you know, people are, are a little bit, um, they don't know what they don't know, right? So the fact mm -hmm. that most lawsuits, for example, in debt collection defense and in default judgments or, you know, people fall all over themselves to pay when they have other options. They don't know about them. They're not right. sure about that. And so they're, um, one of the biggest things, one of the biggest reasons I encourage people to call you, and I'm just gonna, right now, I'm gonna give this number out so anybody that's watching that is a California resident that has an issue with you know, uh, debt collectors behaving badly, you're being sued recently by a debt collector, or you run across any things that, that Jeremy talked about, or you have credit reporting concerns, mortgage uh, foreclosure related concerns, the number to contact Golden Cardona is 619-476-0030. That's correct? Yep. Yeah. So if I just don't know what I don't know what I need to know and whether or not to call you, isn't it best yeah. because it's a free console just to pick up the phone, obviously run your scenario by Jeremy. But um, if people are shocked at some of the options that they have, especially once they've been sued. They didn't they didn't realize they had options. Can you kinda just touch on a few of them briefly? Sure, yeah. You know, if people get sued, the best thing you can do is contact an attorney because if, if you get the lawsuit right process server comes to your door they deliver you the summons the complaint um, the clock starts ticking then and you need to get in touch with an attorney and we can discuss with you what options you have and a lot of times what works is um, filing a response to that case um, and defending you in court and people are surprised sometimes um, we're able to get a case dismissed perhaps the um, debt buyer who sues the individual, they have the numbers wrong. They don't have the uh, proper balance. Uh, sometimes we've seen it's accounts that have been paid off, but they've been sold down the line to other debt buyers and they still get sued on the account. Um, sometimes the debt buyer, when they acquire these accounts, they don't have the right paperwork. So they can't prove that they were assigned this account. And if we um, <clears throat> request these documents, if they go into court, they don't have what they need to prove their case. Um, sometimes they just dismiss the case instead. Um, other times we can work out a settlement for them. Um, if it looks like they're being sued by a creditor or a, a debt collector and they have the proper paperwork, we can always get in touch with them and, and work out some sort of settlement. But it's really tough to kind of navigate those waters without an attorney because there's so many deadlines and procedures you got to comply with. Yeah, I like the way you said navigate those waters because most of us 
when it comes to being sued, we, we're not that we are fish out of water. That doesn't happen to us every day, so we're not real familiar. And sometimes, if you've gone a long time, especially for people that I've talked to over the years, when it's you know an unpaid debt, there's a little bit of embarrassment. There's a little bit of guilt, you know, whether it's you know real, misplaced, whatever. It is there, and it's hard to know that you know. Do I trust this guy? Can I pick up the phone and talk to him? And I can tell you right now, from my perspective, I've been referring again people to Jeremy for over a decade. Uh, with nothing but great results. I uh, haven't heard one bad thing actually, dude, you rock. So um, another thing that I find that consumers are sometimes concerned with is you know, the end result. Okay, sometimes you can win these cases. Sometimes they don't have everything that they need. I just did a video a couple of weeks ago about how to look what you just said, the formal process of court. Yeah, it's yeah. formal, it's intimidating, but it's a tool. And I, and I did a video about that because I don't want people to be afraid of that. And, and because it's formal and because you're in California with some really bogged down courts, um, right. you, you can use the formal process in part of your planning. You know, so sometimes if all you can do is just wait and buy, your time, buy six months worth of time just so you can save up the money to resolve a debt because you don't have it right now and that way avoid a judgment, even that makes sense sometimes, doesn't it? Sure, yeah, definitely. And we'll do that for people. Um, they get the lawsuit and it's just financially, it doesn't make sense for them to uh, resolve a case at that point. But like you said, six months, even a year down the road, they can maybe start to save, make some savings and use that money to settle the case. Um, and that, that certainly helps. Um, we can certainly help negotiate and we can sort of um, find a good timeline that works for them. We can also work out payment plans too if it comes to that. Um, one other thing I mentioned, California, they just recently passed within the last couple of years, it's called the Fair Debt Buying Practices Act. And that really gives consumers a lot of protection when they face these lawsuits by um, debt buyers. Debt buyers are required to put in a lot of information in the complaint, they're required to have the contract, Required to have calculations for the balance, the original account number, so that that gives uh, consumers another way to defend themselves if the debt buyer is not complying with these requirements. So, listen. Basically, the bottom line for viewers, from my perspective, if you're a California resident, you're dealing with a debt collector of any flavor, and you're not sure about what to do. Doesn't matter if you're being sued or not. You know, if it's credit reporting related or not. Get a hold of Jeremy, call his law firm. They've been instrumental in helping California residents for as long as I've been paying attention. Um, so make that call. Again, give it out one more time, 619-476-0030. And Jeremy, your web address is your name, Golden, your last name, goldencardona.com? Yep. That's right. Okay, great. So check out their website, everybody, and I'll put it in the um, just below in the information section of the video so you can just click on that link um, directly. Thanks so much for being here, sharing some of your experiences with our viewers, Jeremy, and I'm looking forward to the next segment we do on mortgages. Sounds good, thanks. Awesome.